The four weeks anti-government protest led by Generation Z seems to water down President William Ruto image in the international community. Over the years, Ruto has appeared to be a populist president and the most sought leader in African continent. Occasionally, he has been holding international conferences such as the UN Civil Society Conference and Africa Climate Summit in a bid to showcase his influence in governance matters. But with Gen Z protest continue spiraling to counties, police brutality taking the center stage with at least 50 protesters having lost their lives when practicing their democratic right. The reputation of the head of state is now struggling in the mud. The current affairs have painted a different image on his governance and populist stand abroad. The use of force when subduing the ongoing demonstrations, nailing an already closed coffin of an image distorted. Earlier this year, Ruto was also feted in White House being the first visit by an African leader to the U.S. in 16 years. However, his polished international image is now francied by international media, highlighting the gap between him and ruling class. They are now having a field day, Kenya making headlines with revolution banners. <laughs> The Kenya Gen Z protest has also awakened a revolution mood in the African continent, such as the planned demonstrations of Nigeria youths in August. After Ruto, After Ruto we seven are you next. We are Uganda. Why Cameroonians can never go on the streets to protest like Kenyans are doing? Number one, who will lead us? Who is going to lead Cameroonians on the street to protest like Kenyans? Celebrities worldwide have also shown open support, many encouraging the Kenyan people to keep up the fight. In UK, 10 Generation Z members have been elected in Parliament depicting the revolution that star tracked worldwide. Mariam Jahid, K24, Nairobi.